In this video, we're going to take a look at creating teams for your organization in Docker Hub. So navigate to hub.docker.com. And if you don't have a Docker ID, go ahead and sign up here. If you already do, go ahead and sign in. So let's sign in. Okay, so now we're in the dashboard of my hub page. I'm going to come up here to organizations. And that shows me a list of my organizations. I'm going to go into Stark Magic, which is an organization I already created. And then I'm going to navigate over here to Teams. Click on the Teams tab, and this is where you can manage and create teams. So to create a team, come over here to the blue button on the right, Create Team. Click that. Let's give it a name. Let's call it uh, Front End Engineering, and we'll call this our Front End Engineering, en engineering Team and click create. It's as simple as that. Now we have a team. So let's go into that team and let's take a look. You can create permissions. Well here on the members page you can add members. So you click at member and we can put in a Docker ID. Click add a member to this team. And then on the permissions page over here this is where you can assign permissions to your image repositories. So if you drop down this drop down, we have four repos in here now. So let me select one. And then you have a couple different options you can give for permissions. You can assign read only. And what the read only permission is, you can pull and view repository details and builds. Let's take a look at read and write. This allow, read and write allows you to push, to pull, push, and view a repository. View, cancel, retry, or trigger builds. And then you have one more, which is the admin. And admin can basically do everything. So you can pull, push, view, edit, and delete a repository. You can edit the build settings, and you can update uh, the repository's description. So let's go ahead and give it admin permissions. So just click on add, and there you go. Now you can assign multiple uh, permissions to multiple repositories. All you do is just choose another repository, and then choose the permission you want to give. Let's give read and write, and then click add again. That's how you create a team, assign users to that team, and then set permissions on your repositories. 